Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well, we've been looking at Divi Supreme Modules Lite. Divi Supreme Modules Lite is a free version of one of my favorite plugins, Divi Supreme Modules. And today we're going to look at their Text Badge module. Go over to the Features page, roll down to the bottom of the page here and you'll find a free download button. That will take you to this page and the Supreme Modules Lite comes with 20 free modules and three great extensions for you to use. Have a look through if you want to download it. Download button's right there. We've done a video on downloading, installing and setting up and I'll put that link below the video also. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable my Visual Builder and let's go down and I'll delete this little module right here. I've got a section with a couple of rows in it. Section is a blue tab, row is a green tab, and a little dark button to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with plenty of modules just to build just about any site, all the light gray ones here. When you add the Supreme Light, you get all these ones in blue here. And there's a few regular Divi ones there as well. Also with the Divi theme, if you've got WooCommerce installed, you get an extra dozen to display your products. So let's have a look at Supreme Text Badges. Let's move this over here so we can see what's going on. As you can see, it's put something in there already. And this is great for e-commerce sites or anything where you want to emphasize a bit of text that you've got there. So let's put in The main text there. Obviously put in what you want your badge to say. Now you can decide whether to show it after, which I quite like there, or before, depending on your scenario, whatever works for you. So I'm going to leave mine on after. Like any Divi module, you can link it if you want to. And best practices, as always, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site, put it in a new tab so yours stays open. And just pop the link in there if you want to link it. I don't need to link this today. I really don't want to put a background in. You've got all the usual options of color, gradient, image, or video. And I'm not going to give it a label. So let's pop over to design. First one's text right here. And you've got the regular sort of text modules that you can adjust all the text this will be for the main text and the badge itself. I'm just going to pop this in the middle. I'm not going to change the color from light to dark or anything like that. And I don't think I'll give it any text shadow. Now you can affect the main text and the badge text separately. So let's go into the main text. And of course you can change the heading size and level. Make it an H2 perhaps. Change the font if you want to. And as you may or may not know, Divi comes with an absolutely crazy amount of fonts. It really does. Let's use this for fun. And let's make it whatever it allows us to do. Bold on this one. That's fine. Don't want to capitalize or line through or underline. Main text color. Make it whatever color you want, obviously. And of course, as with all Divi modules, there's a little color palette drop down here if you want to choose a specific color to use. Text size, well, I'm going to ramp that up a little bit in size. Don't want to change the letter spacing or the line height. I'm happy with the way that is. And I don't want to give it any text shadow. Now on the badge, We've got the actual background color itself here. Make it whatever color you want. Uh, I'm not too keen on that green. Let's choose a different one down here. There we go. That's a bit more like it. And I don't think that font works particularly well there. So let's put a different one in there. And like I said, with these, if you just hover over them, it'll give you an actual audition of what they're going to look like. So I'm going to use that one. It's pretty standard. Great. Now that badge is a little close to me. I'm going to leave that on regular. I'm going to make it uppercase. 
And if you wanted to make it stand out a bit more, you can give it a bit of box shadow. If you wanted to give your badge rounded corners, you can do so here. So you put in five picks. If you've got the chain linked, it'll do all four sides at once. If you want to make it pill shaped or really rounded, put in the high value, something like 50. If you just put in the number, it'll put in the picks for you. And you've got a sort of rounded badge like that. I'm happy for mine to be square, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Border styles, same as anything with the Divi theme. You can do them all at once, top, right, bottom, or left individually, and just set the actual border radius that you want. I don't think I want a border on now. I'm just going to leave that exactly like it is. And set the color, obviously. Sizing-wise, don't need to change that at all. It's taking up the full amount of our column that it's in there. If you want to make it smaller, It'll push the badge down on the bottom. Then you can align it center, right, or left. But I'm happy with it to take up all of the available space there. OK. Moving on down. Spacing. I really don't need any margin, top, bottom, left, or right, or a border, or a box shadow. But what I would like to do is move that badge away from our text a little bit so it's not sort of covering it up. If we go back up to our badges text, there's a gap right there. And we can simply pull this up until it's far enough away for us. And that's all there is to it. That's a really nice effect. Let's just see it on the front end. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And exit the visual builder. And there you have it. That's going to get people's attention fairly quickly. Like I say, that'd be great for e-commerce or new projects or anything that you want to emphasize your text with. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.